a few options are available for finding the correct term. The nearest matching term is shown at the top. Clicking on nearest matches shows terms that start with the word originally typed in. All matches show any term that contains the word originally typed in. Expanding a term shows subconcepts. The doctor finds essential hypertension, selects it and then clicks on the Add Details button. The flyout shows a number of characteristics of essential hypertension that the doctor can use to add more detail. The doctor selects cyclic as the clinical course and moderate as the severity. He clicks OK to save the information. This updates the text in the history box to reflect the selections and the doctor moves on to the next term. For ease, a matching term can be quickly selected by double clicking. The doctor fills in the examination results. Examinations can be added by entering the name of the examination and the result and then clicking the Add button. Brian will also require a prescription for glycerol trinitrate. This will help with the chest pains. In the medications field, the doctor enters GTN, which activates a search and brings back a list of glycerol trinitrate medication options. The doctor selects the 400 microgram spray and to take one to two puffs as required. He also selects a repeat type of acute and a review date in six months time. The rest of the form is completed and the consultation is saved. The doctor can see the updated information in Brian's record. He closes the record and prepares for the next patient. Brian has arrived at the hospital and is currently doing his exercise test. The test monitors the heart while the patient runs on a treadmill. There are a number of stages, each getting progressively harder. The registrar, Mr Paul Dunton, sees the patients before the test for a brief assessment and then again afterwards to review the results and decide the next course of action. The screen contains some panels for carrying out day-to-day -day tasks and on the right-hand side a schedule for the day's exercise tests. While Sprying is having his test, the registrar receives a message from David Hamilton, the technician overseeing the exercise test, informing him that Brying is showing some unusual results on some of the monitor leads and that the exercise test should stop. The registrar clicks to view a live feed from the exercise test on this screen. The live feed appears and the registrar can zoom in on individual leads by using the drop-down or clicking on a lead. He clicks on lead V4. He can see that the line is showing some unusual readings and replies to the technician, informing him to stop the test. Shortly after, Brian comes back from the exercise test and sits down with the registrar to review the results. The registrar clicks on View Results. The results are divided up into a number of charts, one for each stage, and displayed at very high resolution as the registrar requires them in a lot of detail to make an accurate analysis. Using his mouse, the registrar can click on a chart and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out even further. The registrar moves through the charts observing the data. When the registrar sees something of interest, he can highlight the area and add a note by either selecting the highlight tool from the bar above the charts or holding the control key. Using the mouse, he can draw a box around the area of interest, then type a note.
When a note moves out of view, an arrow remains on the screen, showing the registrar that there are annotations currently out of view. The registrar can then click on the arrow to jump back to that note. An annotation list on the right hand side also gives the registrar a list of all the highlights and a quick way to navigate to each one. After exploring the results, the registrar explains to Brian that he requires an angiogram and quite possibly an angioplasty. He explains an angiogram is a procedure allowing images to be taken of the arteries around the heart, showing any narrowings or blockages and that the angioplasty involves inflating a small balloon in the artery to open it up. Brian agrees that he is happy to go ahead, so the registrar decides to place Brian on an angiogram angioplasty care pathway. He clicks on Search Care Pathway Library and in the search enters Angiogram. He clicks on the Angiogram Angioplasty result and this opens up a care pathway. The care pathway show a number of phases required for the procedure. Each phase can be expanded and collapsed, as can the care pathway itself. After a short time, Brian returns to the hospital for his procedure. The care pathway show that the results of the angiogram are ready to be reviewed. Clicking on Review Results opens the angiogram results screen. The images form a video showing a radioactive substance being sent through the arteries. The video can be looped and individual frames can be jumped to using the horizontal frame list. A number of tools are available in the top right hand side allowing annotations to be made. A magnifying tool is also available to zoom into specific areas of the image. The angiogram team select the magnification tool and move it over the image. There is clearly a narrowing. Dragging the bottom right hand corner of the magnifier zooms into the image even further. The surgeon has decided that an angioplasty is necessary and needs to take a measurement of the narrowing so he can prepare the equipment. Using the ruler tool, he measures part of the artery, which shows that a 9mm stent is required. Other types of annotations can be made by the team, including inking, and marquee boxes. A full screen mode provides even more space for the images. Every time an annotation is added to the image, the team can see from the list of frames along the bottom where the annotations are. And also from the list on the right hand side. Clicking an item in the list goes straight to that annotation and highlights it. The team select to view the angiogram from a slightly different angle. And after confirming where the narrowing is, they prepare for the angioplasty. This concludes the demonstrator walkthrough. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please feel free to have a look at the whole demonstrator yourself and explore it further at www.mscui.net forward slash patient journey demonstrator. Please tell us what you think and provide feedback either by emailing us at mscui at microsoft.com or on the forums accessed via www.mscui.net. Once again, thank you for taking the time to watch our video.